you believe that you have the power of thinking as well as anybody else, then you act so. Afro American Cultural Technical Scientific Olympics. We can't sit still and see our kids go down the drain. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vernon Jarrett, the founder of the AXO Award. Please welcome. We are simply carrying on and magnifying the tradition that put black people in the positions that we're in today. When the whole world was against us, denying us the right to read, when every institution in Western civilization was allied against Africans in America, even after we had been free, we didn't have the world, but we had each other. I had just been selected executive director, CEO of the NAACP. Vernon Jarrett had conceptualized the idea of AXO in Chicago, and in fact had run it two or three years as a local thing. He wanted to see that concept become national. He thought about Greek letter organizations, fraternal groups, religious groups, came to the conclusion that the NAACP with a far-flung network of branches in every city, village, township, and hamlet in America, we are there, that we were the organization that ought to do it. So he came to me while I had not yet taken the oath of office and suggested to me that this ought to be one of our programs. I fell in love with it from the very first. Jump to it is exactly the command that our African-American youth are accepting. AXO is really not an organization of young people, but it's an organization of adult people all over the country in various branches of the NAACP to nurture and to encourage and above all to discover talent among our kids that they may be put to use in preparation for victory. If you can get a community where it is believed that young blacks can achieve and you can see them achieving and then lionize them and praise them when they do achieve, you've got something that you can't take away with the worst of Jim Crow and the worst of legislation. AXO is a program that impacts students. My belief is that until we can say that the playing field is equal, and until our children have the equitable opportunities that, that all children have in this nation, then AXO is for the children of color who need it. They need to be mobilized. They need to be a part of something that helps them to get on a career track. AXO was like my older brother that my father liked better than me. <laughs> And I'm not mad at him because that's, uh, that's the, the sacrifice of public service. He was kind of a godfather who would uh, encourage all of us uh, to put our energies behind these young people because they are extremely important to us in society. Sacrificing education is almost suicidal from his point of view. He would often say things like that too. You, to not educate yourself is to, to basically commit social suicide. We wanted so much for our youth to, to have an opportunity to grow and, and develop and compete in a very wonderful way that he came to our corporations with this passion. It was very difficult to say no to him. It's really significant that we have corporations that not only provide the monetary support but also provide passionate individuals who form this group called the Industry Advisory Council. There was so much passion around AXA. He could walk through the competition and the kids would run up to him and talk with him. I think what Vernon would want is that every NAACP branch have an AXO program. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have the resources to make that a reality. The fact of the matter is that while Brown versus Board of Education may not have achieved education all that we wanted, AXO is a vehicle that can help us to make education exciting. We've got to recapture the spirit of educational vitality, and I don't know the better thing than AXO. The future goal is to have every church become a, a sandlot for academic achievement. We've got community facilities out here that ought to be used the same way 
unused basketball uh, uh, courts are used to, to create some of the, the, the talent that you see on TV. We need to continue that legacy so that we can continue something that Vernon started so many years ago that can only do good for our companies and for our country. And then of course we're going to come back to you and say reach back, pull them forward because what you got somebody else needs to get and we have to make sure that we keep our young people involved in the cycle of what it takes to make Axel work. There's some learning to hear, there's some sharing of ideas and thoughts and it's just a life learning kind of an experience. We should be able to uh, help identify them and to provide for them the support that they would need during the year to really hone their talents. Vernon saw beyond today and looked at tomorrow. His great legacy will be his work with the NAACP and AXO to inspire these thousands of young people to know that if we want to be a great nation, a great race, a great people, we must act so.